Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Now in previous videos we've been doing the single play battles and I've been trying to do these from the Royal Navy point of view. So we've been playing the British side. Now this one's going to be a little bit different so let's dive in and find out really what's changed. Now we've done the first, second and third battles and we're now doing the sinking of the glowworm. And this happened up near Norway, or just off the Norwegian coast. So, on the 8th of April 1940, the invasion of Norway is underway, and sailing alone, HMS Glowworm encounters a destroyer and the Admiral Hipper. Historical outcome was the Glowworm was sunk, with the Admiral Hipper suffering medium damage. Now, let's jump to the forces section. Right, so, the Allied forces have the Glowworm, just a solitary destroyer. She's not armed with torpedoes, she is just armed with little pea shooter guns that a destroyer is armed with. The Axis forces have a destroyer, the Z-28, and the cruiser, Admiral Hipper. That is a cruiser, a capital ship, and this capital ship has extremely big guns. So not only is the Glowworm going up against two enemy combatants, but also one of them is way above her um, stature. So I've been trying to play this from the Royal Navy's uh, point of view and um, really I get my arse handed to me every single time. It only takes just a few shells for the Admiral Hipper to land and basically my ship the Glowworm gets sunk, sent to the bottom without a trace. So I'm going to do this battle a little bit differently. I'm going to play the role of the Axis forces, show you guys the Germans. So we have to swap this over to the German flag. And we are now in charge of the Z-28 and Admiral Hipper. So this should be a quite a quick battle. Now, jumping straight into it, here is our destroyer, the Z-28. Uh, Z-28 is quite a well-armed destroyer. Uh, if you can see at the rear here, uh, she has single turret guns. Uh, two in the aft section, one in the mid section facing forward. Uh, but it's the front section that is quite interesting because, zoom this in a little bit, twin guns. So this destroyer is really packing a lot of heat for a destroyer. And if you look over to, oops, underwater, uh, if you look over there, there is the Admiral Hipper. That's the real threat against the Glowworm, which is over here. So if we jump to the map screen, we'll just show you very quickly. There is the Glowworm, and she's going to sail across the front of our little task force. Obviously trying to hope that her all her guns to fire at our two uh, warships, uh, and hopefully only our uh, forward guns will return fire on the Glowworm. So let's go straight back to fight. Uh, we're going to turn the uh, destroyer around to port so we can start bringing our guns all to bear. So we've managed to get our forward gun and our midsection gun aimed at the destroyer. Just swing that over. And it's asking for 22.3 degrees of elevation. So, uh, we've got the wind is now going with the shells, so we're actually going to just take that off a little bit and see where these land. I'm going to fire uh, 5.9 inch high explosive shells from the destroyer. That's not bad for the first salvo. Here's the interesting part. The Admiral Hipper. The real threat against the Glowworm. At the moment, only her forward guns are going to be firing, so it's asking for 17.8. So, let's see, we're going to fire 8-inch high explosive. Well, that I did not expect. Two shells, two 8-inch high explosive shells landed well, they must have detonated the uh, magazines on the destroyer because she's going down and going down fast. That's why you don't send a destroyer to take on the Admiral Hipper. Maybe part of a task force she stood a chance, but on her own, nope, not gonna happen. Not this time. Goodbye, Glowworm. So let's jump over to the action report. Obviously, this was an extremely quick battle. Uh, I didn't even think it was gonna be this quick myself. So, um, yes. Glowworm sunk. 
the Z28, no damage. Admiral Hipper, no damage. Remember, historically, the Admiral Hipper suffered uh, medium damage from the Glowworm. Uh, Z28 suffered no damage historically. So, as we see the Glowworm sinking, going to the bottom without a trace, um, yeah, let's jump back to the screen. Right. Um, if you want me to do this video, but do it again, but take on the role of the Glowworm, uh, I'm more than happy to do that. If you want me to do that, put a comment in uh, on the YouTube page, and I will, you know, if there's a, quite a few of them, I will do it. I will film this, or refilm it, and um, I will take the role of the Glowworm. I will get my ass absolutely handed to me on a plate. Uh, or even on one of the 8-inch shells from the Admiral Hipper. But it'll be entertaining to watch from you guys' point of view. So, let's go back. Right, so anyway, we will jump on to uh, action number 5 uh, in another episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's very, very short. I didn't expect it to be that short, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, but yes, I'm the Crafty Gamer, and I will see you in Atlantic Fleet very, very soon.